Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week, Simeon is building out of Uncanny X-Men and I am building out of a hodgepodge combobulation of Captain America's Civil War, Age of Ultron, the Avengers movie set, and the original Guardians of the Galaxy movie set. This is going to round out this quote-unquote age of thursday throwdown the age where there are no dials on the back of the cards but there are oreo bases that is the the hmm, whatever for the age that's the specifications for it so just to get everybody up to speed calder is at three wins in this age devin adams of happy little hero clicks is at one win and simeon bruce is at seven wins (laughs) These past seven weeks have not oh, been man. kind. I don't to Calder think Calder at all. I don't think Devin's gonna make a comeback. Don't think Devin can make a comeback with no. his one win. No, sadly. But to be sadly. fair, he is uh, what hundred percent wins for the the games that he's shown up for. So for the boss battle games, yes, he has one hundred percent won all of those. We'll have to figure out what the boss battle is gonna be in this next season of Thursday Throwdown. So. This is not going to be a tiebreaker game or a game that can potentially tie it to make us have a tiebreaker game. This game is just uh, to see if Simeon goes uh, eight and three or if I go four and seven. Basically, this is just we have to play through all the sets in the age. So let's go ahead and get to it. Simeon, who is on your team, my man? All right. So starting off team Uncanny X-Men. X-Men, I suppose. We have number 014, Riptide. And speaking of Devin Adams, this uh, this is a character he actually used, I think, in 2018 Worlds. Um, I know he played it online a few times because he does some interesting stuff that uh, was pretty useful. So uh, he's got three range, one lightning bolt, 45 points. He's got this fun little uh, swirly do thing because he's a spinny spinny boy um he's got sidestep a special attack power energy shield four clicks long not a whole lot of stuff he's got improved movement ignores characters which is always great he is a marauder and then he's got the mutant masker trait which i think all the marauders had and that's the first time during your turn that one or more opposing characters are ko'd after actions resolve choose one this turn modify this character's speed attack and damage plus one or heal this character one damage so you get a little bonus when you're KOing opponent characters, which is cool. And then his special attack, which is the real fun thing about him, is when Riptide uses Sidestep, after actions resolve, he can use Pulse Wave as a free action. It doesn't say that he has access to Pulse Wave, so that means unless he uses Sidestep, he has no attack power. But he can essentially walk nine squares and then Sidestep, so 11 square reach and then pulse wave with only a range of two and that's pretty fun he only has one damage but um it's a pretty good way to disrupt like a group of people from 11 squares away or just ko like a bystander something like that next up on the team is john gray crow and he is also my my second marauder on the team. He's also got the assassin's keyword. He starts with running shot, goes to sidestep, some willpower, some toughness, some energy shield, some leadership, some range combat expert, 60 points, seven range, which is actually kind of impressive for this set. He also has the mutant massacre trait. And then he has another trait that is making weapons to hunt. Give him a power action to equip a standard object in an adjacent square or a square he occupies. If it is a standard light object, he can use Precision Strike. If it's a standard heavy object, he can use Penetrating Psychic Blast. And, of course, like most Marauders, he is all but... I don't know. (laughs) He's almost completely machine. Um, The actual sculpt in real life is not nearly as cool looking as this. There's not nearly this much detail. He's just like a half gray blob. But, uh, yeah, big guns... And one of my favorite versions of Wolverine probably ever uh, is this 020 Uncommon. He's got zero range, 115 points, X-Men team ability. 
It's got Alpha Flight, Martial Artist, Soldier, at Weapon X, X-Men, real name James Howlett. He's got a kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of mirror dial, but not really. But he's got like charge and this special attack uh, on both the top and middle, where he's got stealth and blades in the middle, um, or top and bottom of his dial. And then he's also got some exploit weakness in the middle of it. But uh, he's got two cool traits. He's got, uh, you've taken your best shot, now it's my turn. When Wolverine takes damage, you place a number of heal tokens equal to half the damage taken on his card. So if you take two, you get one heal token. If you take four, you get two. You know, you know how to have things. Give Wolverine a free action, remove a heal token to heal one click. So you basically, you know, if you take six damage, you can heal three. And then, you know, you take another two, you can heal one. So he's never, like, ever healing to full, except with his other trait, better chumps than you have tried to kill me, bub. When Wolverine would be KO'd by an opponent's attack, you may remove three heal tokens. If you do, turn Wolverine to click seven instead, which is really fun. Um, click seven is his last click, but it basically gives him a way to, like, not die rather than uh, healing so rather than healing, if you save up your heal tokens, you can just not die for a turn. But where this guy is really fun, in my opinion, is on reverse dial games. Because then you start on click 7. And mm. unless they one-shot you, you will get three heal tokens and heal back to click 7. Which in a reverse dial game is basically your click 1. And so unless you want to be nice and rule that like... Uh, for reverse <laughs> dial, click seven is like his click one. Um, but if you don't want to be nice and you just want to be like, hey, that's what it says on the card, then he's healing to quote unquote his top dial. Uh, so in rever reverse dial games, this guy's almost unkillable. Um, it's pretty bad. And then he also has his special attack power that is Blades, Claws, Fangs. When he does use it, uh, minimum D6 result is his printed damage. And if the result is six, place a heal token on his card. So he's got an additional way to get heal tokens. Not super likely, but it's it's a possibility. Uh, next up is X23. So she comes in at 100 points, a little bit cheaper and a little bit better than Wolverine, in my opinion. Um, when she clears action tokens, she can heal one click. So she actually does have the ability to heal to top dial. Uh, Wolverine is not in Dom, and she is, so for a little bit less points, you actually get a little bit more, in my opinion. Uh, she's got Charge Flurry, which is also a really sweet uh, speed power to have. Nice combo. She has Adamantium Claws. When she uses Blades, Claws, Fangs, uh, the if the result is a 1 to 2, once per turn, you may reroll the roll. So... Minimum result, of course, would be two when she has three damage, and then one when she has two. So being able to re-roll her blades roll is pretty decent, especially with Charge Flurry. Um, pretty solid piece. Then rounding out my attackers, I've got the Sabretooth and Wild Child figure. So his dial is just what it is. Charge Blades, Battle Fury, some interesting stuff, some uh, regen combat reflexes, all that stuff. And then he has uh, Leashed or Unleashed, which is his little wild child attached there. Uh, wild Child begins the game, or Sabretooth and Wild Child begins the game with the Wild Child attached and can use Flurry while he's attached. At the beginning of your turn, if Wild Child is within three squares of Sabretooth and Sabretooth and Wild Child, I hate figures that like say the both names when the bystander is one of the names. Um, so I'm just going to call him Sabretooth. Yeah. So uh, at the beginning of your turn, if Wild Child is within three squares of Sabretooth, you may reattach him. Give Sabretooth a free action if he hasn't used Flurry this turn and place an attached Wild Child adjacent. And then he's got a healing factor, of course. When Sabretooth and Wild Child clears action tokens, you may heal him one click, just like X-23s. Wild Child has Charge, Blades, Exploit, and Combat Reflexes with an 11 attack. So, uh, pretty decent reason to drop him. You've, of course, got uh, the Flurry with Sabretooth 
if you don't have Wild Child out on the ground, but uh, that exploit is pretty cool if you need it. So being able to spit that out and try, try and charge, or just get the extra reach, I guess, to throw Wild Child out there. Uh, there is no way to mm. bring Wild Child back, though, so if he gets KO'd, he's gone for good. And then last but not least is one of the coolest characters from this set, and that is the Chase Magneto coming in at 150 points, 8 range, sidestep TK top dial, got some Psychic Blast, some Running Shot, Pulse Wave, um, Leadership, Outwit, Perplex, really good reducers. Uh, this is, of course, the Age of Apocalypse, just as Sabretooth and Wild Child were Age of Apocalypse. Um, he has a trait where when you're building your force, you can choose one character of 150 points or less to get the X-Men keyword this game. So I suppose for this game, it'll be, I don't know, John Grey Crow. It does not matter for this game. It's not a theme team either way because I have two Marauders. Uh, his other trait is the entire world is dead dreams and scrap. If there are no scrap metal markers attached to Magneto, you may give him a power action to destroy up to two walls or squares of printed blocking terrain within eight squares and attach that many scrap metal markers, maximum two. Give Magneto a free action and remove all scrap metal markers to make that many object attacks as if he was holding a heavy object. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, you can like throw them or whatever, but yeah. It's kind of like a ranged flurry with this guy, if I remember correctly. And uh, also <clears throat> the the ability to just destroy walls and blocking is pretty good as well. First up, I have Hawkeye from Age of Ultron. Man, this is going to be hard to read. Let me go full screen. Let's try that again. First up, I have Hawkeye from Age of Ultron starter set. He ignores characters for targeting which is pretty cool he has one trait you and i remember budapest very differently hawkeye he's running shot when he is adjacent to a friendly character named black widow they modify their attack values plus one doesn't matter there's no black widow on the team he has a special attack power on randomly some of his clicks he can use energy explosion and improved targeting ignores blocking terrain when a range combat attack resolves any blocking terrain along its line of fire to the target is destroyed so this is still i think this is the only way to actually like ignore all blocking and then destroy it all when you shoot through it, which is uh, the good old days. And then on his second click through the rest of his dial, he has the deadly Hawk, which is range combat expert. When he has no action tokens, he may either activate range combat expert as a range combat action. Ooh, he can activate his range combat action, or he may modify his attack value by an additional plus one when using it, which is pretty cool. So Potentially on those clicks, he could be like a 14 attack for two damage, which would be ridiculous. But still, he'd be a 12 attack for four damage on that's, click number two yeah. and three, which that's is solid. My so part of uh, Avengers: Age of Ultron is when Iron Man's like fighting Ultron, and he looks over and he's like, "Hawkeye, you need to become the Deadly Hawk," and then Hawk <laughs> shoots <laughs> better. <laughs> <laughs> When is he ever referred to as the Deadly Hawk? I uh, I, I think Nick know. Fury calls him that in oh. like Thor or something. <laughs> I don't know. From the same Fast Forces, we have Captain America. This Captain America is great. He has the shield toss trait. Uh, when he makes close combat attack, all squares and six squares in line of fire are considered adjacent, which is pretty cool. So he can charge up five squares and punch out six, which is pretty nice. And then he has this kind of useless leadership power, I would say. Part of the Avengers, Captain America can use leadership. He can use it normally or as a power action. If he uses it as a power action and succeeds, he remove an action token from all friendly characters of the Avengers keyword within six squares. I wow. don't think I would ever take that chance. Yeah, power that's... action by Captain America. That's I mean, that's awful. Maybe when like the chips are down and you really need to clear your entire like Avengers team. Right. If you, like if you have somebody that modifies or lets you re-roll like leadership roles leadership potentially yeah but, yeah that's... next up <laughs> it's rough dude it's such a rough power still from age of ultron we have ultron who has one trait hidden programming when he would be ko'd and you roll d6 that can't be rolled on a five or six place this character in your starting area on its blue starting line the blue starting line is uh click number five is the blue starting line is the click one anyways 
So he's always got that charge energy explosion, baby. Such a combo. What a good combo. Hey, and then he has a special transport power. So I he mean, does have transporter, which is cool. Wonky hypersonic. Yeah. Uh, Age of Ultron can use, or Age of Ultron, Ultron Prime can use Mastermind. When he does, friendly characters in four squares and the robot keyword are considered adjacent. Guess what? I don't have anybody with the robot keyword uh, on my team, so that doesn't matter. But he's got Mastermind, which is cool. And then the classic Guardians of the Galaxy, Yondu. He's pretty sweet. He was on my pirate team a few podcasts ago. He is one trait, higher ground, making Obi-Wan Kenobi incredibly jealous. And it gives Yondu energy shield deflection. He also has a sharpshooter team ability, or attack symbol, which is just dope. And then he has a special damage power, which is one little whistle. When making a ranged combat attack, targeting a single target, uh, modify Yondu's attack value, plus two. So you can be a 12 when he just shoots one guy, which is pretty sweet. And then we got Hawkeye from the Avengers Civil War, because it's not really Captain America Civil War when every single freaking Avenger is in it now, is it? He has one trait that I am paying for. It's the I'm with Cap. When he's targeted by a ranged combat attack, Hawkeye can use shape change, so that's mm. uh, nifty, I guess. Mm. Then he has, you guys see all three traits, huh? Locked on target when Hawkeye hits an opposing character with a ranged combat attack. Modify the defense value of the hit target, negative one this turn. That's pretty cool. And then he has this third trait, which is purely for Ant-Man, which I will not be able to use. But uh, if he does hit with an opposing character with a ranged combat attack, after action is resolved, you may place a adjacent friendly character with the Avengers keyword and tiny damage symbol next to the hit target, Who which is not going to happen. It, does, it's so specific. Does Cosmo have the like, tiny symbol and avengers keyword is that who it absolutely is? not is he shooting a cosmic dog out of his bow no jeez, uh, yikes anyways that is that is the team we are on roll 20 this week as you guys could tell because tabletop simulator was missing several of the sets i needed in order to make my team so without further ado let's go ahead and get this game started I won the map. We are playing on the Strucker's Fortress, I believe, from Age of Ultron movie. So I'll go ahead, see if we can make, uh, see if we can make it four and seven. See what we can do. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna have Ultron carry Hawkeye. Ultron's pretty fast. Let's get that whole twelve speed. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, sure. Ultron there. Let's have Hawkeye. Lower Hawkeye. Go eight squares. Let's go to there for right now. And then let's have Yondu. Hmm. Seven. Okay. It's going to go seven of there. Excellent uh, map cropping, Simeon, by the way. Is it? Is it off a little? <laughs> it's off just a touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cap can only move nine. It seemed off a little, but I was thinking it might have just been the, the figures. Well, if Cap go there, he'll pick up the... Uh, <laughs> the light object, and it is your turn. It's a 600-point game, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. That's a little closer. Uh, they're in the majority of the square. It's fine. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. We'll figure it out. All right. Oh, wait. Are we missing part of the map? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. K, no. L, no. P. Oh, there's just a map underneath that I've seen. <laughs> yeah. Um... Okay. Uh, so, I don't need to roll for leaderships yet. Oh, I'm really off now. Yeah. I should have just left it where it was. 
problem is that uh, this map had crazy huge borders, so the dimensions are super far off. So to get it, might be the to get it to be the it. right size, it's like it doesn't. I think it's about the closest. Right. It's like the right uh, size. going to be off no matter sitting. what. Yeah, it's just not sitting yeah. quite right. Um, so uh, we're gonna sidestep with Magneto carrying X twenty three to there. He's gonna take a power action. I have to remember how to do roll 20. I haven't done it in a while. He's going to take a power action and destroy this blocking and this blocking. And there you go. Yeah. Uh, he's going to destroy those two so that he gets two debris markers on his card. Um, Sabretooth. He's, he's a pretty fast guy. He's got a nine speed, and of course I can I can move up and then drop my wildest child if I wanted to. Um, I believe that's how it works. Sabretooth, let's see. If I haven't used Flurry this turn, I can do a free action to, yeah, place Wild Child, and then Wild Child has nine speed. So he's actually got some crazy reach. Because uh, he's got 9 speed. And then I can drop Wild Child adjacent and then charge 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So yeah, he's actually surprisingly decent reach um, for a Blades huh. roll. Uh, we will play it a little safe, though. 600 point game, so leaderships really don't matter at all, I don't think. Uh, Sabretooth's going to move here behind that blocking even though it doesn't quite look like it. Uh, Wolverine is like my tank kind of guy with his toughness. Super strong. He's got 10 speed. I think Wolverine's going to run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He's going to grab that object and then end down in like a, a lower elevation square there. Uh, let's see. I don't like all these Hawkeyes you got going on. I'm going to move John Greycrow to here. Hmm. I'm going to move his marauder buddy right behind him. And I think that's good enough for me for now. I don't have any okay, perplexes. No perplexes. Uh, just leadership and some cool figures is all I bring to the table. Um, Sure. Sure. I'm going to have Captain America roll leadership. All right, it's two. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> well, we can bamboozle some people. We can go there. All right. Might not be terrible. Might not be terrible. Not amazing, though. Not amazing. Let's go ahead. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. Not amazing. Not terrible. Hmm. Mm, then you'll get so many attacks thrown your way. If I could totally delete Wolverine this turn, I would do it. But I would need a two perplexes <laughs> to make that happen. <laughs> so, sadly, we can't quite get there. 
So let's go ahead. We can have Hawkeye running shot and take a shot off Grey Crow. Grey Crow only has like willpower. Which would not be terrible. Or uh, uh let's have this Hawkeye really quickly. I'll have him leap climb. I'll have him leap climb to there for right now. We'll grab that object as well. Just so that way he's he got start it. Start with leap climb, or is that just like a is it a special power? <laughs> Hawkeye from Civil War starts with Leap Climb. That's his only move power. <laughs> Top dial. I wonder what the flavor Civil War that Hawkeye. is. Civil War Hawkeye. Climbing Leap a climb. tower. Like, literally, it's like something walking, awful, I'm walking sure. Walking upstairs. And then we're going to clear everybody else to be on the safe side. All right. And on the safe side, you are not... Um. Yes, eight range. I can do anything. Um. <laughs> you fool. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm not piecing it together, but okay. I'm not either. Um, but if I pretend that I am, then you know, that's all that matters. Sure. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Hit you, hit you with a pulse wave, which I think might actually be worth it. Let's start with leaderships, though, because that's uh, how you play this game. So we'll go with John Greycrow, a two, and then we'll go with Magneto, wow. a four. Okay. Wow. Um. So I do not have leadership on Riptide. He will likely die if I send him out on a suicide mission but i'm gonna do it anyhow so he is going to walk one two three four five six seven eight nine squares to there and then he's gonna sidestep one and since he sidesteps it's power action to walk uh yeah. since he sidesteps and on click two he does not change on click two. He's still a 10 for one. He gets to pulse wave for free. So he's oh, going to okay. do that. He's going to roll 2d6. 17s. That'll probably miss Ultron Prime. That will, that will hit Hawkeye. Yeah, miss Ultron by one. Hit Hawkeye for sure. He'll go to click two. Well, it was worth the shot. Um, let's see. I could still try and... Does Ultron have Invincible Top Dial, or is it Impervious? She has Invincible Top Dial. Okay. I'm going to sidestep Magneto to here, carrying X23 to there. Yeah, that math checks out. Um, then I think I don't think Sabretooth and Wildchild really need to be up in the fray just yet uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yeah, we'll we'll go here with uh, Sabretooth and Wildchild, and then we'll clear. Uh, no, mm -hmm. Leon Greycrow is going to power action to delete this object and gain Precision Strike. What a good source of attack power John Greycrow has. 
Um, I will clear Magneto, and I will clear Wolverine. Mm -hmm. That's okay. my my big turn. Wow. Well, I could roll leadership, except there's no reason to. And now this is the only Hawkeye that does not have sharpshooter team ability, so he cannot affect the Sabretooth and Wild Child duo. Let's see. I think we just have Ultron nuke these guys and then follow up with just whatever else. One, two, three, four, sure. Yeah, let's have Ultron go ahead. He'll charge one charge square to there. Energy explosion? Yeah, we're going to charge energy explosion. We're going to charge exploit. 11 on the 17 of Sabretooth and Wild Child. Yes, 17 toughness. Barely hits. Mm. Wow. I will theme for Magneto five damage with Magneto. Mm, yes, with uh, your theme, huh? So for five straight through, he will go to click six. Yes. Nice. What are we looking like on click six? On six, I have combat reflexes with a ten attack and exploit weakness. Mm -hmm. Inside step. combat reflexes is with ten attack with what for defense? Uh, sixteen combat reflexes. So I'm an 18. Okay. At 18 at close. So Hawkeye's probably not going to take that shot. Or will Hawkeye take that shot? No. It'll be Yondu. One, two, three, four. Running shot with Yondu. Picking up the object. Mm. Give everybody an object. We're going to single target. So it'll be a 12 to your 16 for a big Yondu three damage. Yondu is Yonduin three damage. Ah. <laughs> ah. Aha. Ha ha. Yes. <laughs> More like Yondu. Don't... <laughs> Darn. Well, because one, Calder two, said three. Jeez. So. Uh, that's all right. The, the Ravagers will give him a nice fireworks funeral for that. That awful display. We're gonna move. We're gonna move these two guys here. Uh, let's have Hawkeye eleven on an eighteen go for the seven using his light object for the big four damage. Oh, Hawkeye ah, well that will hit. Indeed, get him. Uh, and there goes Sabretooth and Wild Child. I clearly did. Uh, not this Hawkeye will way. also push. He'll go to click three. <laughs> His object. Well, that was a turn. We got our crit miss out of the way, and that is all. Uh, all, all of my characters. So it is your turn, Simeon. Oh okay. boy. I feel like I've got a crit hit coming on. Uh, no reason for me to roll leadership, so I'm going to sidestep Riptide to here. And then I'm going to Pulse Wave. Mm. Uh, I don't like that. It's not a Pulse Wave that hits. It's a 16s. It's 16s. It will miss everybody, luckily. I was, I was hoping for at least doubles to like maybe knock some people. Knock some elevated. people yeah. into off-elevated. Yeah, sure, that would have been a pretty been good uh, goal. Um, let's see. I've got some Magneto TK I could do. Some charge flurry stuff. Uh, what's Wolverine doing? Uh, Wolverine's just got regular blades, so I think that my my flurry with X twenty three is probably better. She even has a higher attack value than Wolverine. What is what is he doing? Uh, so yeah, we will give Magneto For fifteen whole less points too. Yeah. We'll give him a power action to Ooh. TK Laura six squares away. We'll go right in the middle of that uh, blocking there. And she will charge one, two. Yeah, I can't really get to anybody else. So she'll charge to here. 
and flurry. Mm. Yeah, she might as well. She'll flurry blades on uh, good old Ultron there. She has an 11 attack. He's an 18 invincible. Yeah, need a need a seven. First seven. Attack. Yeah. You got it. And that one will be for ah. Well. Aha. Well. Luckily, uh, well. when I use blades plus fangs, if the result is a one or two, once per turn I can re-roll that roll. So I will re-roll okay. that roll. Okay. Four. All right. Slightly, so I take slightly two. more respectable. Yeah. Go to quick uh, three on Ultron. What is his defense? Ultron three is now an eighteen with impervious. Okay. So still need a seven. Second attack. Does a 16 mm. hit an 18? That will miss. Ah. Yes. Math. Um, let's see. I'm going to sidestep Magneto to here and then mm -hmm. make two free object attacks on uh, is there a better person to attack than Ultron sidestep can I see anyone from that square Hawkeye is on a lower elevation so yeah uh, let's see from this square no this square also no okay cool cool that is good i will just sidestep forward one and make my two heavy object attacks <clears throat> on ultron magneto of course being a 10 attack only needs eight first attack says okay a five mm. Mm. second attack is Hey. Ooh. Calder might take one damage. I will then roll impervious. All right. Yes, I will take one damage. I'll go to click four. <laughs> uh, that was free. Wolverine should probably move somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's. Wolverine doesn't want to get quite as deleted as Sabretooth did, so he's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six to there, and I will clear Gray Crow and mm. well, both my Marauders, Riptide and Gray Crow, will clear. Okay. All right. Beginning my turn, I'm gonna roll leadership with Captain America. Ooh, five. Nice. Take a token off a of Hawkeye. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead. Gonna make some big. Gotta make some big plays this turn. Some big plays. All right. We got one Hawkeye all tokened up. This Riptide guy can't be pulse waving, even though it hasn't really greatly affected us. So we just can't let it happen no more. Could Wolverine a little bit in the way. A little bit in the way with that Wolverine. Not loving it. I am not bum 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 loving it. So let's see. Uh, we're not going to be able to kill you at all. Yeah, Wolverine is very much in the way, and none of us can ignore ignore it. Can't do nothing about it, which is not good. Ultron will not really be able to delete what's her face anymore. He can still take a swing at her. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and have Yandu try to sidestep breakaway. Okay, nope. So, Yandu, what does it say about... Okay, it is only a ranged combat attack. Well, Yandu, that is cool because you have the sharpshooter team abilities. That's fine. 
Now the Hawkeye that I wouldn't mind having Leap Climb does not have it anymore. So Yandu is going to sharpshooter nobody because he does not have Indomitable. That's what he's going to do. <laughs> Let's just have Ultron go ahead and try to delete X-23 here. Uh, and by that, I mean deal her a whole three damage because he's only an 11 for four right now, which is just not great. Mm, ah, my screen that well, is cocked. We can't so knock her back. I need you to yes, well, that, that is... All right. You're right. Cocked dice is no good. No right. good. Laura will go to click four. Oh, my gosh. And it's still an eight. I, I didn't mean it. I uh, can't knock you back, though, sadly. That. I rolled two fives in a roll, and you rolled, rolled two eights in a row. Yeah, right? Uh, uh, that's depressing. You didn't even need the so second So she'll take three damage. I know. I know. Hmm. Well, there's really just not much we can do this turn. I am a little bummed, not going to lie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't like that. Uh huh. Let's see. Captain America. You are, you're that, I guess. Uh, I don't like going either of those directions. Yeah, let's have Captain America move nine squares to there, as terrible as that is. Hawkeye, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to there. So actually, we'll have Hawkeye, Captain America move there. Hawkeye move in there. Uh, I think Yandu's just going to die unless we get at least one little punch on Wolverine. So Yandu will sharpshooter Wolverine. 12 to a whatever for three damage. 17. Mm. Uh, that will hit. Wolverine yeah, I do is, good quick. 17 toughness. Yeah. How much you're doing? Three damage, so I'll take two. I'll go three to click damage. three. Uh, let me double check. Yandu is holding a light object, so we'll use the light object. Delete uh, that. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'll go to click four. But I get two heal tokens because of that. Uh let's see. Yeah, when it's when I'm take when I take damage, uh yeah. Equal to half the damage taken. Yeah, so since I took one, two, three, I'll round up three to at two. Yeah, I'll round up to two. Sweet. Yeah, and I think that's all I can do, so we'll clear this Hawkeye. All right. Uh, no reason for leadership on my turn. Uh, Laura still has her charge flurry. X23 still has her charge flurry. Um, mm. I think first thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to perplex up Riptide's attack. And he's going to sidestep. One, two. And he's going to free pulse wave. I don't know why I gave him an action token. Mm. Sidestep's a free action. Mm. And the pulse wave he gets is free. So 11 hmm. into stuff. 18s. That will hit them both. Take Ultron to click 5. And take Hawkeye to click 4. Alright, hopefully I placed that perplex in the right spot. Um. Yeah, I think Laura's going to flurry blades on Ultron again. What is his defense looking like now? He's an 18 impervious. Still. Ugh. Sadly, you can't perplex down and then pulse wave because it goes off of their printed defense value. So, yeah, the only way to get that pulse wave to really work was perplex it up. Um, Laura will flurry first attack. A3. And nice. second attack. Nice, nice. A five, so she's nice. got eleven. Nice, but nice. Uh, pretty poor rolls. Wolverine, of course, does not have Indom. Uh, he's not really on a click that's super great. Anyhow, I've got some blades and exploit. Hmm. Hmm. I 
think therefore I am John Gray Crow has seven range and he's got precision strike currently that means if I go to this square what does Yondu have for defense uh, toughness I think it's like a 16 now because he's pretty low hmm Yes, it is a 16 toughness. I will running shot to this square with John Greycrow and attempt to blast Ultron with my okay. precision strike. He is an 11 for 3, so... It's pretty good. That will hit. That will do it. That will take Ultron for one damage. very much to click number 6. And then... I'll sidestep Magneto. He'll take a power action, and he will destroy. Let's go with this blocking and this blocking. Why do these look weird? Okay. I don't know. Oh, that must be like... Uh, I grabbed obscuring terrain instead of uh, debris. Okay. He'll destroy those and then he'll make uh, his two free attacks. So he gets two debris markers. He's going to use both of those and attack Ultron again. So he has a 10. Wow. Wow. Has Ultron changed okay. at all? Yeah, he's now just a 17 with that mastermind thing. Okay. So I have... A 10 attack for potentially 3 damage. First attack. Mm. A 6. Second attack. Okay, we lucked out. A crit we lucked hit. out on the first one. Uh, I did not luck out on the second one. We'll take a full 3. Go to quick 9. And let's see. Riptide already moved. Riptide only has 1 damage. Does Hawkeye have any reducers? Lucky for you, Hawkeye has, let's see, click four, energy shield deflection. Okay. Then my fifth action. 17 with energy Riptide shield deflection. Will punch Hawkeye in the face. I hate you. Yeah, <laughs> for one full mm, damage. That will hit. Take Hawkeye to click five. And that is that's my whole turn. I can't do. Oh, uh, I'll clear mm -hmm. Wolverine since he does not have Indom. Normally, I wouldn't care when I'm playing this Wolverine, but he's one of my favorites only because of that reverse dial gimmick that I was talking about. Oh, I am yeah. playing an object. I guess I could have used that, but that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and do leadership with Captain America. Five. All right, getting pretty lucky with our leadership rolls so far. Should have power action. One, two, that. three, four. Take Hawkeye to there. We'll tap him, running shot, double target, Wolverine, and Riptide. Boo. Okay. That's where if we good. roll, not bad. Uh, we'll hit, miss them both. Good job, Hawkeye. Good job. All right. Other Hawkeye is going to try to... I don't even know. Five. Let's say... Oh, so bad. So bad. Let's have him just try to move breakaway. Mm. Oh gosh, this will push him though. Oh uh, gosh, oh uh, gosh. Does he still have leap? Uh, he does not does have leap climb. He's he running shot time. now. I don't need it. Oh, yeah, mid dial I know. Awful. running shot. That's good. Actually, yes, the beautiful, like beautiful dial on click five. Yeah, it's awful. I guess let's just have him. He's on click five right now. Jeez, we can't even kill Riptide, which is just so crappy. Um, because he's not holding the object. Yeah. Let's have Hawkeye. Just do a move action. Hmm. Oh wow. I'll allow. Wow. It. 
We'll move him there, I guess. Stellar. We'll clear Captain America, Ultron, and Yondu. And it's your turn. All right. Sadly, I think I gave... I think I gave Riptide the X-Men keyword. Because uh, it would have actually mattered had I been thinking about it. So I'll roll leadership with John Greycrow. Okay, it wouldn't have mattered. And leadership with Magneto. Well, that's a lot of ones. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot this turn. So, yeah, I'm just going to sidestep Riptide, one, two, and then he's going to pulse wave. I hate you. I hate you. I forgot to perplex up. That's okay. I'm going to crit hit this one. No. I did not. Mm, no, but you will hit everybody. Um, let's see. What's Hawkeye rocking on click six? ESD still. And yeah, 16 ESD with that beautiful shape change from range, baby. 16 ESD. <sighs> Uh, let's see. Yondu's on click three. What does Yondu have for defense? Has he got ESD as well? Uh, 16 toughness. He does have traded ESD, but he has toughness. Normal. Um, since Wolverine's not doing anything, he might as well... Let's see. Yeah, he might as well, uh attempt the the blades exploit on Yondu. So Wolverine is rocking a whole 10 attack. Ah, okay. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Wolverine's working wonders for me this game. Uh, he's a late bloomer. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's... What did you say Hawkeye was? An... Uh, 16 ESD? 16 ESD, baby. Okay. 16 ESD. I, do I think I can roll a 6? I do. I trust myself to roll a 6. So I'm going to perplex up Riptide's damage to 2 with X23. And I am going to push him to punch Hawkeye in the face. Yes. Ah, that, that, all right. That, that is <laughs> first blood. Hawkeye is dead. So that'll push Riptide to click Sadly. three. But here's the fun thing. Uh, I've got that Marat Mutant Massacre. So first time during my turn that one or more opposing characters are KO'd. After resolutions, I can uh, choose one. This turn, modify this character's speed, attack, and damage values plus one, or heal this character plus one damage. So I'm going to go ahead and heal him since... It doesn't really make sense to modify anything, but John Greycrow, he's gonna he's gonna modify his attack and damage and speed by plus one, so he's now walk uh, rocking a twelve for four, and he's gonna. Oh, well, how does John Greycrow also gets it, even if he's not a uh, the person yes. that killed him? Uh, none of them have to be the character. That's that dumb. Him. It's just when an That's opposing dumb. character. That's is dumb. Paid. So he's gonna running shot to. I hate that. I think using that his sucks. Willpower to uh, ignore Christmas. pushing Christmas. damage, and he's Christmas. gonna shoot at uh, Ultron with a twelve for Christmas. four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need a four. Strike. You need a four. I needed a four, and I crit missed. Let's hope. It was seventeen right, uh, hit for four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. seventeen hits. Yes, Simeon, seventeen hits. Yes, yeah, Simeon. Yeah, yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. uh, I don't know if I told you this, but the Marauders. <sighs> Are pretty oh good. geez, shut up! Uh, I'll shut up! I hate this clear. so much. He will clear 
Laura will clear, and when she does, she heals to click three. That's right. And uh, that is my turn. I'll teach you for picking your turns. My least favorite turn. Child, I hate this. I hate this so much. All right, Captain America does not need to roll leadership. Let's have. Well, where can we where can we running shot to with what's his face and shoot these people? There and there. Okay, sure. Wolverine. Has Hawkeye, what do you have now? You're on click two. Does not matter. Does not matter. Uh, click two. Ooh, marginally worse for Hawkeye. Actually, <laughs> that sucks. Okay, I guess we're just doing the big old blasty blast then. Oh, is he going? Uh, Hawkeye. What's it? He's going to text on that. Dead Hawk. The deadly hawk, the deadly baby. Hawk. The deadly He's hawk becoming the deadly hawk. Mm -hmm. Sam Wilson. Has, yes, basically. Uh, thoughts about that. Or I guess we could Sam we could Wilson's energy explosion to different people. Um, let's go ahead. Have him ranged <laughs> combat expert. Let's see. One into attack and one into damage, and we're going to just try to smoke Riptide from existence because he's probably been the most annoying so far. Uh, um, ooh, I hate that. I really hate that. That sucks. That is unfortunate for Hulk. all right. And I push one, two, three, four. Captain America will charge to here. Forgot Cap was here. 12 to your normal defense. For not using the light object, you don't get ESD. Please. I don't know if I told All right, you this, Calder, but America. the Marauders are unbeatable. <laughs> when the set came out, all mm. the meta teams were Marauder theme teams because. They All right, are... Yandu plus two attack. Unbeatable. Uh, plus two. That's one dice. Plus two attack. The Wolverine. Okay. So three damage? <sighs> sure. Yeah, Yandu can roll that. No, he probably is much less now, I imagine. Let me check. Oh, he's going to click three. Two whole damage, baby. All right. So Wolverine will go to click five. That's my turn. Those are my characters. Those are my actions. Send me an answer. Go. He'll get one heal token. So he's up to three now. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, man. There's a lot of choices to be made. Uh, I will try and leadership yep. with Magneto yep. first. Ah. Mm. That is interesting. Uh, so hmm. I'll take the, hmm. the blue, no. Yeah, the, the blue token off because red was last turn. Um, I think Laura. I uh, actually healed her off of her charge flurry, so now she has stealth, which is mm. unfortunate. She also lost her perplex. A lot of unfortunate stuff about this. Um, so we're just going to sidestep Riptide. We'll go one, two to there. Then we're going to go ahead and pulse wave oh, with a nine attack. My placement has been so no. bad to just keep letting Riptide all he pulse I, wave me. I healed, so he actually has a ten attack. Jeez. He took damage and then he healed. Jeez. Ah. Jeez. Your All right. Have higher than twenty printed damage. No, no, they actually don't. Somehow, Captain America, <laughs> Hawkeye, and Yandu do not have a twenty defense printed <laughs> on their tile. One damage. Jeez. Jeez. All right. <laughs> uh, Wolverine mm. on click five has a ten for two. Mm. He's gonna attempt to blades Yondu. Yes, Yondu has a sixteen defense. Uh, does he have a reducer? Because I do have exploit. I'll, re I'll yeah. use it either way. He does not have a reducer. Okay, cool. Sixteen. That's so the magic number, yeah. baby. Good. So we'll see. I'm guessing a six. But I'm not sure. I'm guessing a six. Ah, okay. A wow, one. a one, which will take me to click five. Uh, that'll push Wolverine. And I'm still alive six. somehow. 
trading one click for one click apparently um i'm gonna move laura to here i don't really have anything else to do with it. i haven't ko'd any characters so yondu on click five does he have toughness or esd he has willpower. He has traded ESD. Oh, traded ESD. Uh, okay. Uh, he's still the weakest one on the map right now. Especially that I can get a line on. Let's see. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I could attempt it, I guess. Uh... No, Magneto can't see Yondu. I kind of positioned poorly. I can sidestep to here. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Yeah. I'll sidestep Magneto to there. And then power action him to destroy this blocking and this blocking. And then he will make two free object attacks heavy object attacks wow uh, wow yeah i can see do you get the hindering bonus probably so i'll yeah so hawkeye will be in stealth if it goes through okay it does um and magneto's just a 10 for three so yeah, they'll both have to be against Captain. Oh sorry, no Captain. sorry. Hawkeye's on click four. My bad. Hawkeye's on click four. He doesn't have stealth on click four. Goodness gracious. Oh okay. What's he got instead? Does he have? Yeah. What's he got for defense? I guess. He's uh, he has ESD. He has ESD. So he's a sixteen ESD on Hawkeye and Cap's a seventeen tough. Hmm. So I need eight to deal three to Hawkeye. Yeah. Let's go for Hawkeye with the first one. Feeling lucky. Okay. And, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, we'll go for Hawkeye with the second one. Ah, missed it by one. Magneto okay. will go to click two because he feels like it. Nice. Not because you told him. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. Sadly, uh, there's not a lot of stuff that I can follow that up with. John Greycrow has nine speed, so I can go five. And Hawkeye would have the hindering and the ESD. Or I could just shoot at Yondu. I guess we'll do that. Uh, John Greycrow will running shot to here, using his willpower to avoid the unavoidable damage. And mm -hmm. he will shoot at Yondu with precision mm -hmm. strike. Ah. I suppose John Greycrow will increase his speed, attack, and damage by plus one. And Riptide will heal to click one. As it <laughs> Everyone on my team, we all did things. Some of us better than others. The Ravagers, I don't know, or Marauders. I don't know if you noticed, but the Marauders were a little bit better than everyone else on the team. Only marginally so. Captain America is going to roll leadership. Doesn't get it. Captain America is going to use the object to attack Riptide. Mm. Hits for four and Riptide dies. Are you sure it's four, not three? Yes, it is for four. Are you positive? Okay. Captain America will sidestep back two squares. I just healed him. Okay. Hakao clear. It's your turn. Uh, I can't do a whole lot this turn. Um, is it worth? No, can't do that even. So yeah, we will. Let's sidestep Magneto into hindering so that he is hidden. 
and then we will clear everyone. Um, Laura will heal one click. She's back to click two. On click two, she has sidestep, so All right. that's something. Uh, Hawkeye is going to range combat expert all into a damage, being an 11 for three against John Gray Crow. Cool. How much? 11 for three? So I'll go to click four. Yeah, for three. And then Hawkeye will sidestep back two squares to there. Captain America will sidestep back one square to there. And we'll clear Captain America, and it's your go. Okay. Leaderships don't matter. John Gray Crow, you knocked him off of sidestep. Let's see here. I think... I think I've managed to bamboozle Calder. What I'm going to do is sidestep Laura to here. Whoops. Uh, sidestep her to there. We will then X-Men team ability with Wolverine. Yes, they both have X-Men team ability. So Wolverine will take a power action and try and heal. Well, he heals her one no matter what. Well, he's going to heal. Yeah. And he takes one unavoidable or one damage. I just want to point out there are several different ways Simeon has to heal his team. So well, there ways. are currently zero, and always have been zero ways for me to heal my team in this game. So Wolverine, goes just so to people click know, seven. just uh, so they're aware. Laura goes to click one. Magneto's gonna sidestep to here. Um, I guess on click one, do I even? How fast is she? She's got ten speed, so she can go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I really want that one extra square though. So yeah, we're gonna TK her with Magneto. One square. And uh, she's gonna charge one, two, three, four, five to there. She'll be using a little uh, power combo I like to call Charge Flurry Blades Claws Fangs. She'll go after the Hawkman first. Eleven attack. I have willpower. It'll hit a seventeen. That will hit Hawkeye. That'll hit four. Hmm. What click is he on? It'll take me to click four. six now. Uh well I once per turn I can reroll my which, which... My... Which I am dead on. Which I am dead on. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Kick six. Click six has the stat for speed is KO. The stat for attack is KO. The defense is KO, and the damage is KO on click six. Well, I I suppose I will make my second attack against. Wow. Uh, Captain wow. Um, oh, wow. No, no. I'm sorry. Wow. The heart of the Avengers. We'll see if we can. Rip the Thank heart you. of the Avengers out of the chest of the dead soldier. You already have. No. <laughs> uh, Good. My hubris. Good. Good. Doing? Uh, so she'll take one damage for that. Uh, fun fact, though. John Gray Crow gets plus one speed attack and damage. Oh my gosh! Because somebody was KO'd. So. He can run a whole six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can he can run all the way right up into your face with his twelve for four precision face one square away. strike. How are you a twelve for four? Because a character was KO'd. And You're on click four, Simeon. Oh, is he? Oh, he's not running yeah. shouting at all then. I take all of that back. Where was he? Jeez. One, two, three, four, five. Like I'm gonna he lose. He will heal one click to click three. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I thought he was topped out. I was. Yeah. Uh, I, was... 
Um, that is that is my whole turn. Wow. Because uh, wait, uh, John Gray Crow heals. He will then sidestep two squares, and then that is my turn. All right. Well, Captain America will. It always had to come down to this color. Try to sidestep breakaway. All right, he'll get it. We are going to move one, two to here. Or we're going to punch John Greycrow. Uh, hits 17. 11, right? Hits an 18. For three damage. I have ESD, which would not matter. Uh, John Greycrow. Oh, wait, no, on click three, no. I have toughness. You, you have toughness. Yeah, you have so, toughness. Uh, what is your damage? Three? A big three. A big three. Uh, I will stay alive, then. I will go to click uh, okay. five. And it is your turn. That's all you got. Okay. Give Captain America a, to a token for doing something. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah. I think we gotta finish it off by pushing Wolverine to death. Uh, even though he has three heal tokens. Oh wait, no, he's got willpower. <laughs> uh, silly me. He will charge to here with his twelve for three. He'll use blades. Yeah, there's a a twelve plus seven hit. Yes. Does yes, it does. Three damage kill you? No. Oh, okay. One, two, take me to click four. Well. Because I had toughness. I will sidestep Magneto. Yes. And X23 does have sidestep blades. I don't really want her to be the one that uh, finishes off Cap, but... She'll sidestep to here. And she'll attempt it. Uh, 10 into something. I actually have a 19 because of combat reflexes. Not that it matters. You're going to roll crit hits. Uh, no, bad. Uh, and I will sidestep John Greycrow to there. Uh, Magneto will clear. And I suppose you may take one more turn, Calder. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use all my powers that I can. Captain America's going to roll leadership. If it's a six, I'm going to win this game. Well, that was all right. Probably. <laughs> that was probably a bit. Uh, if it's a, a three, big I also win. <laughs> if it's a three, I also win this game. Where Simeon rolls nothing but crit misses, and I roll nothing but crit hits. Uh, let's take away the amount of attacks you can do. Uh, let's kill Wolverine. Does a... I don't even know what my attack value is. 17 hit. Uh, 17 will hit my 16. For 2 damage. Alright. 2 and then, damage whatever. will KO him. Sadly, uh, I have 3 heal tokens. So yeah, there it is. Instead, there he is. will be turned... To click seven. And uh, then I'll see. have Captain America try to sidestep breakaway. That is two dice. Ignore that. Hmm. That is a six. Sidestep one, two to there. And it's your turn. Let's see. Let's see. I will... I will roll my leadership with Magneto, even though it does not matter. Wow. Um, haven't made any of them. I will sidestep X-23 to there. Sidestep John Greycrow to there. Uh, yes. He... No. No, you will not. John Greycrow does not have sidestep on click oh, five. he's on five. Jeez. I shouldn't have been able to sidestep him. He should still be up here. Uh, he'll just walk to there. Jeez. All right. Um... Magneto will sidestep to there. He does still have sidestep, I believe. Uh, let's see. 
Yes. He will not shoot because it's John Greycrow's in the way. Uh, let's see, let's see. Man, that's a different elevation, so I can't see that. Um, yeah, it looks like I just got to clear a bunch of people. Laura will heal for clearing. And Wolverine will do nothing for clearing. Mm. All right. Captain America is going to roll leadership. If it is a six, I win this game. Also, it is a two, I will win this game. All right, cool. Uh, sadly, it's probably the best for Captain America to be up in close. So Captain America will sidestep to here, then clear. Mm -hmm. Wolverine must win this game for me. So he will charge. Jeez. Jeez. He has a 12 with blades. Okay. And if the result is a six, I place a heal token on his card. Cool. I will blades you. Okay. Does an 18 hit? That miss will by miss. One. By but one. I would have rolled a three. Okay. Um, okay. Wow. Laura is on her sidestep click. She doesn't have flurry, but she'll attempt to blades you. Ten. Okay. Uh, nice. and let's see, it's two. She'll attempt to sidestep breakaway. Interesting. Mm. She will sidestep mm. one, two squares. I will sidestep mm. Magneto to here. I will power action him to PK John Greycrow. To this oh my square. gosh! No, okay. I was about to say John, you don't want to put him <laughs> John Greco on click five has a fifteen ESD <laughs> one damage range combat expert <laughs> ten attack. He will uh, push uh, with no willpower. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna go. <laughs> all right. Let's see. What is Captain America four? He's gonna go all into damage. Yeah, a ten me. for three. <laughs> Blam! <laughs> if that would have worked the other way, it would be cool. Uh, uh, it did not work the other way. Okay. Uh, that's everything I can do, sadly. Captain America is going to kill Wolverine. Hmm. Eight first. Doubtful. But, uh, first, we'll see. first, first. Roll leadership. Six, I win the game. Okay. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Captain America will kill Wolverine. Got it. Mm. For two damage. Mm. Mm. Captain America. Tables. Turn. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll sidestep to there. It's bad, but we'll sidestep to there. And it's your turn. All right. If I win this game, I which I will, because I rolled a sick on leadership. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Attempt to sidestep. Arg! Darn it! We will sidestep right. to there. Not good. Uh, we will sidestep X twenty three one two. Yeah, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. And do you? Do you? Uh, she's yeah, gonna. She's gonna blades you. I didn't think that was gonna happen. I think this is your fail. Fail safe here. That will hit. Oof. Duh. I will roll damage. One over my defense right there. Oh, no. Ooh, one. Staying alive, staying if alive. Only, Click five. If only I had a power that let me re-roll the dice roll. Oh, geez. If it oh, was a one it. or two. Whatever. Okay, Here's whatever. A... Oh, Click God. four. All right, now it's a two. So I'm on Click six instead. All right. <laughs> Caps on Click six. My Thank blades you. rolls have been so bad this game. Uh, Thank Magneto's you. is going to take a power action. Yeah, here it is. This is what I thought you were going to do first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. this is yeah. what I was planning on doing. You had to get one more hit in with <laughs> Laura. You really wanted to try to KO with Laura as opposed to Mags, but okay. I mean, kind of. But, All right. Uh, you, know, I, you need a six he's gonna twice to hit me. So some five and a two. Debris coming at you, uh, Captain America. Here we go. Shield can block Debris. 
All right. Yeah, that's game. Hit. Good job. Sim oh, shut up, Simeon. Good job. Does Good eight. job, Simeon. Nope, that's it. Another it 18. <laughs> it's cheese. Jeez. Uh. I further cementing. This is my eighth loss in a row for Thursday. For those counting at home. So Simeon is the carded Oreo age champion. To without be fair, the weird this is cards. the first age that I've won, though. This is the first age you've won. That is true. That is true. I feel like uh, there should be an upswing in my wins sometime <laughs> in the next few weeks. Uh, eight losses in a row is pretty hot, but like I don't think I've ever stomped you eight times in a row. No, I think all the I other eight ever been way closer. This one was definitely a a complete wash. I would. I say. remember when when you went three and zero at the beginning of this. Uh, felt pretty good. I felt like that was the longest like streak either of us had. I did not realize that I had gone. I had come back Probably from was. that streak. We need a little more back and forth in this Thursday throwdown. Anyway, sorry guys. Uh, that concludes another sh shall we say epic? I guess uh, golden age battle. Next, uh, we're entering the new age of wacky cards. That's the current modern age cards. So we're going to play this. I guess we'll call the end of this age when it's no longer modern anymore, or when it becomes modern, so it's no longer golden. So the end of it will be AI, or turtles, depending on how it shakes out. So the sets we're going to be building out of, Simeon gets Superior Foes of Spider-Man, and I will get Joker's Wild for next week to build out of oh boy another set that definitely feels co totally stacked in my favor can't wait to play out if, of it simeon if you is there a character get, like five votes for killer moth i'll be very disappointed yeah. in our community right Jeez, if i have to play killer moth they're, here's what's gonna happen they're gonna give me like killer moth geoforce technocrat bronze tiger <laughs> hey technocrat has uh outsiders uh sure but i mean like there's better outsiders in this set oh yeah they'll give me they'll give me some trash like that Fanagarian. anyways yeah uh um, i would actually like i wouldn't mind an entire cobra fanatic cobra theme team i did like those generics a lot and i liked the cobra guy i thought that was fun well speaking or, of, of course speaking of cobra oh boy like snakes well, there's, there's no some, cobra. In there's some yes. sneak attack in uh, Spider-Man. No, I just uh, snakes though. Uh, oh, gotcha. Got got gotcha. Um, so honestly, my my biggest favorites from this set things that like if you've played Spider-Man, Superior Foes of Spider-Man, um, things that you should remember would be like generic thug, uh, top and foremost. The only thing you really should care about this set is Stilt Man with an endless supply of stilts. Um, other fair and decent figures would be Overdrive with his charged up pog. Uh, I suppose Frogman is an amazing piece. Um, so things like that are really like what we're looking for. Uh, technically, there's a devil dinosaur in this set with drop bears and rockabilly modox and homicide crabs. Um, but yeah, those are those are really cool. Um, there's a what did they call him? Handstand Spider Man, but he's not very yeah, good. He so be, no, so he used to be the no go to Spidey for, for a while, right? And then you no, have all the no, cool no, chases. No, no. yes, he was. He was. no one ever he played was. him. Nope, nope. I played him. Oh, okay, I see what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, he's doing. he's pretty good. He's one of the few that characters that uh, can evade attacks. Uh, characters using precision strike used to be that precision yeah. strike just auto deleted super senses and yeah. some other random powers I can't remember currently but uh, yeah there's a ton of good stuff in the Spider-Man set um, two standouts that aren't good are Morlin and Ares who I've never been able to make useful for their points even yeah, though they Ares are... never works for me either yeah they both have the cool slash marker but Man, there are a lot of points, and they just don't do a lot. Like, Moreland for 200 points is technically only seven clicks. He can heal up, mm -hmm. but if he doesn't, which he usually doesn't, uh, yeah, he's only like seven clicks for 200 points, no protected outwit, and not a lot of mobility, like some mobility, but not a lot. 
I've never actually played any of the chases from this set, though. Well, that sounds fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this Thursday Throwdown, make sure you leave a comment voting for what figures you guys want us to play in the next set uh, next week. As always, I said I'm going to be Joker's Wild. Simeon is going to be Spirit of Spider-Man. So check those out on Clicks Nexus, HG Realms. They have the full set list of those sets. And just check them out. See what's going on. Tell us uh, which one us to play from those sets. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification button if you want to be notified every single time one of these bad boys goes up. It's going to be Thursday, but what time on Thursday? Ooh, ah, nobody knows. It's so random. We're very inconsistent, <laughs> but it'll be, it'll be there. It'll be there. All right. And then, of course, you can join our Patreon at uh, patreon.com slash dialogueheroclix. It's in the description. If you want to support us, support the channel, support the podcast, go ahead uh, think about supporting us on Patreon. It would be pretty cash money so guys thank you once again so much for listening really appreciate listening watching this is youtube this is youtube it's not a podcast anyways thank you guys so much we'll see you in the next one happy trails